YouTube. Today I'm gonna make a short presentation about my car. I'm planning to do some vlogs about the things I like and the things I don't like about my car. This is a Mitsubishi Colt CZT. It's a 2007 model. Now this model came in Europe and in Asia from 2000 and uh, four to 2009 then there was the rally art version which was essentially a facelift version of this car and uh, you cannot uh, find it now day is only used in the used market but it's a relatively cheap car to buy in the used market and it provides quite some for what it's worth now it's around you can find around five or six thousand euros perhaps even less anyway let's begin with the things that I like about this car number one thing that I like about this car is of course the performance now it, the, the, this car has only 1.5 liter turbo engine which produces in stock form uh, around 150 horsepower and 21 pounds of uh, feet of power of torque which is quite some for a car that weighs around 1070 kilos so that's just above one ton uh, this guy here drives like a maniac okay so now th this car is, is easy to tune also uh, this specific car is tuned I have a full custom exhaust uh, West gate, the new West gate. It's been retuned to have around 220 horsepower. Uh, it has a custom intake also, which is relatively cheap. You can uh, improve the performance to around 200 and uh, 10, 220 horsepower for a car that weighs just over a ton. It's what's up now. I'm not gonna push it. Since we've just started, because it's a turbo car, and you should wait until the engine uh, picks up some temperature, and then you can uh, the oil temperature rises up, and then you can you can then push it up a bit. Now, the second thing that I like about this car is the taxes that I don't have to pay, and the registration car fees each year I have to pay in my country. Now this has only, as I said, a 1.5 liter engine so the the tax that you have to pay for a car that has 200 horsepower and uh, it's quite fast uh, for its size are relatively small compared to let's say having the same power from a two liter engine so that's one thing it's a it, it's an economical car also in the same uh, category I would say that I would also put the fuel consumption which is uh, if you this is a turbo car as I said it depends on how fast you're going the fuel consumption however if you drive relatively sensibly and I don't mean like you're driving a funeral coach or something like that uh, this car now shows just five points a year but we were going down slope to this road so we did not put our foot to the pedal so much but in general you can see consumption about 7.5 liters per 100 kilometers which is a decent fuel consumption in my opinion uh, for what it you for what it provides now the other the number three thing that I love about this car is the practicality of it you can see some footage I'm gonna provide you can easily fit four to five people in this car although it's a, it's a small car for you see from the outside and the back the seats do fall down so you have some boot space some more boot space and also the seats back provide accommodation for five adults which is quite something for a car this size 
Now, the number four thing that I like, it's, it's reliability. This is a Mitsubishi, it's a Japanese car. It was produced, it was uh, assembled, let's say, in Holland. However, the engine is made in Japan. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the specific engine was made in Japan. And I've had this car for nine years. The only thing that went wrong was the ESP sensor, which I fixed. I bought used a, a, a replacement for around 40 euros. Okay, so let's push this thing a bit up. Let's check out the performance. I was talking about the reliability of this car. Now you buy a car like this, most of the time so you are putting your foot to the pedal and nonetheless this car has not presented me any problems. I do check the oil level and I do change the oil around every five to seven thousand kilometers which is quite soon, uh, considering that most cars did change their oil once a year. So other than that, other than the ESP sensor, I did not have to worry about anything else. Of course I changed the brakes from now, from, uh, after some kilometers. But in general it's a reliable car, considering what I've heard from uh, other cars on, of that sort, I'm not gonna name cars, but I've heard about alternators going off, oil consumption, and stuff like that. You don't have these things with this car. Small chores done. I'm gonna open my right side window so you can probably hear the engine a bit better. And we're going to the number five. Reason that I like this car, and of course it's its small size. You saw in the beginning, it's a three-door hatch, and this this is a city car essentially. So you can park this car almost anywhere in the city. And this is it about it. I mean. City, you want a small car, you want to be able to park whatever you want in some tight places. You put it in very short corners. And that's about the five things I like. There are more things that I like about this car. The fact that it has. Uh, Stereo commands on the wheel, on the back of the wheel. Uh, though this is a 2004 model, and small things like that. The exhaust sounds quite good, but we'll talk about another vlog video. So I'm gonna push this in the back. We're gonna get fourth gear now. That's our just pulls. That's about my first blog. Vlog. 
Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.